stash. Oh, it worked. It worked. I did an insane 800k loop around 2B2T spawn. The whole trip took me over 20 hours and was spread over seven live streams. It was the longest single journey I've ever taken on Minecraft's oldest anarchy server and showcased everything 2B2T has to offer. Over 90 bases, both old and new. We have a brand new base, look at this. Dozens of other unique monuments, including 12 year old villages. This is a old village. You love to see it. Dupe stashes full of overpowered gear. Ooh, -hoo -hoo, that's a good start. Many dead bodies from unlucky players who failed to survive. Rip. And whilst I didn't die, I did unintentionally kill someone's dog. Did I? Did the dog die? Bro, oh, I'm so sorry. So now it's time for us to start this crazy journey. 800,000 blocks around 2B2T's legendary spawn. Are you ready? Well, let's go. I started day one on the northwest corner of spawn. I decided not to use the 100k ring road as this is just too heavily traveled and I would have found nothing but ruins. Instead, I went slightly further out, meaning I actually traveled way over 800k blocks in total. I wasted no time and headed off east and it wasn't too long before I was finding things, starting with two massive griefed gold farms. We got a, a big grief, but interesting. Let's have a look up here. The, ho the house is intact, so I think... I th oh god, the wither's there. Before he sees us. Quick, 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 quick. Ah, here we go. So, what do we got? Ooh, look at this. So this is an old gold farm. And uh, we do have a wither in here. And we've still got some TNT. But the base is, uh, the base is pretty intact. We've got farms. I found several other small bases before finding one of my favorite relics on the server, a glitched nether portal. This is at least nine years old as these occurred when the server updated from 1.7 to 1.8 in 2015. I then found an old grief dupe stash and base with its dupe and strip and donkey stash still intact. Even though it was completely destroyed and there was no loot left, there's just something really beautiful about a giant lava cast. It was also a very sad day, as I found five dead bodies of players who didn't make it out of spawn alive. Let's have a look, what do we got? Ah, oh, vanilla stuff. My favourite find of the day was this cute underground base all the way back from 2017 with collectible banners and tame dogs. Right, I want to see... Blue Diamond Standard. In total, I found 15 bases and several other cool things on day one and traveled 100k blocks in total all the way to the Northern Highway. Very quickly, before we carry on, there is a six and a half hour director's cut version of this video showing absolutely everything. It's for channel members only, link in description. On day two, I started on the Northern Highway and continued my journey east and very quickly, I found an amazing base in some old terrain. Ooh, hang on a minute, straight away. We seem to have found, wow, a pretty big base here. Look on the journey map. Holy crap. Okay. What a beginning. Yo, look at this. And it looks really intact. Wow. Wow. Okay. Oh, this looks this looks pretty old. But still really sweet, like a really nice kind of wholesome build. Yeah, really nice. Let's just do another little flyover. Church. Got a little village. We've got the main part of the base. Yeah, cute. Cute little spot. 
I came across another oddity you will only find on this server, partially generated old villages. This occurred when newer terrain was generated next to older terrain and the older terrain covered most of where the village should have generated. I found several more small bases and was getting a little tired of not finding anything interesting. So when I came across yet another tiny new friend hut, I took my frustration out on it. Oh, that's just begging to go, isn't it? Let's make it profound and use the bow that's in the chest. There we go. An actual grief. Eventually I hit another 100k blocks travelled, which now meant I'd done 25% of the journey and it was time to head south. The final find of the day was this nice griefed castle and ocean monument base. Yeah, this bit looks quite well intact, considering how grief the other part was. Oh, God. Okay, so big drained monument. Yeah, this is, you know, going to be part of the same base, I guess, but... This is a guardian farm, or it was? with a slime in it. In total on day two, I found 16 bases and traveled over 100K blocks. On day three, I started at the northeast corner of spawn and continued to head south. I soon found one of my favorite bases from the whole journey, a build in a savanna biome that looks like it took inspiration from the bright tree Ewok villages from Star Wars. What we got here? Oh, we have got a base. Ooh, we have got a base. I was like, what's going on here? We've got like a treetop base with banners and everything. Right, let's get up here and check some of these. Let's get up here so we can check some of these. Uh, how do I actually... <laughs> I, I do know how to, to play. It's just... I can edit this out. It's I'm not live, am I? Oh shit, I am. Uh, right. <laughs> How the hell do I? Yep, there we go. This is nice. I then found the ruins of a map art base. Ooh, we got a map art. We've got some map art. Hello. Uh, unfinished as well, by the looks of it. Thank you for the banner, by the way. Oh, this is this looks new. Nice finds. And an old Russia base from 2016. Hello. Oh, let's go down and have a look. Yeah, there's a sign talking about the war. The war on 2B2T is upon us. It's very wholesome. I then came across this large and very interesting base in a dark oak forest. That's what I'm talking about. What did I just say? Take me to your base. And here we are. What do we got? This is so cute, man. Look at it. When exploring some old beta terrain, I came across a huge ruined castle, a beautiful relic of the past. this. Oh, this is sweet. This is nice. This is old. This is very, very old. I'm pretty sure. Whatever this is. Yeah, obviously this has been well griefed, but 
still very nice. And my final find of the day was one of those areas you come across on the server where you think, what the hell was going through the mind of the person who made this? We've got Chlamydia City right here. Mm. Day three was quieter having found only 10 bases, but what I did find was super cool. On day four, I started on the Eastern Highway and continued my journey south, and it turned out to be one of my most successful base hunting days ever. After already finding several small bases, I came across this very big and very bizarre griefed base built into a chunk border. It's pretty nice actually. Okay, wow. It actually looks pretty big. Is it griefed or just completely unfinished? I can't quite tell. Let me go back to that. Just realized I wasn't showing the screen. So yeah, some sort of lag machine maybe or duping machine, carpet duper or something maybe. Well, there are some shenanigans were going on here for sure. What's going on down here? Huh? Okay. Oh, so it's like a triple spider sp spider spawner thing. I've never seen one like that. It's like a wheat farm. That is weird, yeah. And another one goes down there. Strange design, that one. I have never seen one like that. I then found a pretty tiger base containing some nice banners. No, it is a legit base. Ooh, look at those banners. Let's get inside. Cute. It's not very British, but I'll, I'll allow it. <laughs> I'll allow it. All right, look at these. After finding an unfinished castle from 2017, I then had another one of my favorite finds from the whole journey, an old school village. I had to go back and take another look because what I didn't spot at the time and what makes this one extra special are the floating torches. This was a glitch that only happened between versions 1.4.4 and 1.4.7 where the torches generated on top of air blocks. That means this village generated between November of 2012 and January of 2013. You can actually see still read the original bug report on the Mojang website. Just a super cool thing to find. After that, I found a strange Halloween themed monument in a swamp. Yeah, this is nice. Electons. This is, this is fancy. Soon after I hit 400k blocks, the halfway point, and it was time to head west. It was at this point I found my fifth dead body of the day with a skeleton wearing the armor of our fallen comrade. I then found a sweet little jungle base. Oh, this is cute. This is very cute. Very cute. That'll do. Right, so to get down there, we go down here. No, I don't like that. I don't like that design. Not approved. I then found my second old village of the day. This one didn't have any floating torches, but did have some villagers left. After nearly four hours of streaming, I found over 20 bases and several interesting monuments. If you want to watch all the original streams, those are linked in a playlist below. On day five, I started close to the Southern Canal, continuing my journey west. I soon came across a really big grief 2018 base. Ooh, hello. Oh, we've got a big grief base here. Very Don Fury in this. Well, I guess that's a gold farm, right? So potentially a lot older. Yeah, I thought this was like a, seemed like a newer base, but it's not. Uh, it's actually a 2018 base. I then found my first dupe stash of the journey with shulkers full of maxed out diamond armor. Stash. Oh, it worked. It worked. Stash. Whoa, baby. Okay. Fluffers. Oh, and it's uh, 
It's good stuff as well. I give cords out to all the stashes I find to channel members, so make sure to sign up if you want a share of my loot. I then found another really nice 2018 base. Hang on a minute. We'll talk about that in a minute. Let's have a look at this first. Dupe stash, maybe? I doubt it. Or maybe it once was. Is there a spawner? Yeah. Auto fish. More auto fishing. After finding a big reef base, I'd planned to stream for at least another hour. However, I had to cut the stream short after a tiny little visitor made its way into my home. See you, Ninja. Thanks for joining. So, bases. Oh, sh There's a f mouse in my flat. Mm. What the f All right, guys, I'm going to have to end the stream and get that shit out of here. It's a cute little thing. It's like a, what you call like a dormouse or something like that. That scared the sh out of me. How the hell did that get in? Day five ended with 12 bases found. On day six, I started in the southwest corner of spawn, having done nearly three quarters of my journey. The first thing I found was a dead body next to a dungeon stash. My guy was so close to getting rich. Ooh, hang on. Hang on a second. Ooh, we found a little stash. Ooh, that's a good start. That is a very good start. Okay. I then found another very weird location. Just several snow golems wandering aimlessly. Yeah. We've got a little party going on over here. Snow golem party. Nice. Next up was this really nice obsidian build. What the heck is this? This could have been a stash at one point. Yeah, at one point, this definitely would have been a stash. It's a good design, though. Digging the design 100%. I then found a sweet castle that had a gold farm, possibly very, very old. Here it is. Uh, cute. I mean, this is cute. Let's have a look. Very nice. On my journey map, I saw we were close to a base I'd found a couple of years before. A massive floating island. So I went to see if it was still there. Ooh, it's still... This is... Yeah, it's still there. Wow. Yeah. Crazy this is still here. On day six, I found 11 bases, but most were quite small. I ended on the Western Highway, ready for the end. So the final day had arrived and I was all ready for the home stretch. I started with an awesome find, a team veteran base from 2016. Ooh, well, this is a slightly bigger base. And we got a banner. Oh, it's a veteran banner. That is cool. I then found this beautifully designed underground base. Wait a minute. Ooh, look at this. This is cute. Look at this. This is really cute. Really nice. Lots of fishing stuff again. Okay, so this is where they were doing their fishing. I found a couple more simple bases and then, just a few hundred blocks from the finish, I stumbled across a brand new active base where I caused some unintentional death and destruction. The owner even had Rick in his name. I know it's hard to believe, but this was completely unplanned. We are coming up to it. This is crazy. 800k loop around the map. First, wow, my God. We have a brand new base. Look at this. 
Holy cow. Oh my god. Oh, you couldn't you couldn't make this up, right? Like for the end of the end of the 800k. Wow, that is crazy. It's lagging the hell out of my server because there's a gold farm down there and everything. Yeah, this reminds me. Oh, there's some mobs here. Morty to your Rick. <laughs> oh my god, this is crazy. Like, what are the chances uh, of finding this right at the end of the journey? Look at this. Look. Look at this. Oh my god. Look. Wow. That is... I cannot believe that. Okay, we've got a wall farm. He's online. He is online. He's not here. Well, he might be around somewhere. That is unbelievable. Shall I message him very quickly? Yeah, I just messaged him to say, uh, I'm sorry to say, but I just found your base on stream. Here we go. He didn't, he didn't reply to me, though. Oh, my God. This is insane. Map hearts. Where's the gold farm? There's a gold farm down here as well. Yeah. I will come back here one day. Right now. We need to finish the journey. Time to... Oh, he's watching on stream. What's up, Morty? I'm sorry for finding your base. It's like 5k... Not even... F like 4k away from where I started an 800k block tour around spawn. I was so lucky to find this. Literally can't find the way out now. Water elevator. Is it this? Oh, here we go. Oh, this isn't it. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Sorry, sorry, I'm griefing. No. Oh no. What am I doing? No. Holy shit. Oh sh Bro, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. This is like a maze. This is like a maze. Help. Right, I've got silk touch, I'm out. I've got silk touch, I'm out. <laughs> did I, did the dog die? Bro, I'm so sorry. Soon after, my journey came to an end, exactly where it started. This whole project was so much fun, and it showed the unique range of things you can find around 2B2T spawn. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you haven't liked and subscribed, it would mean a great deal if you did. A huge thanks to all my stream viewers who joined me on this journey, and everyone who has supported me since then. But that's it for now, so take it easy.